have that because I really wanted to see the Mortal Kombat movie, and I saw it, it was terrible. Like, that's a, you did the same thing for Wonder Woman. You were all excited about Wonder Woman 1984. Oh my god, it was horrible. It was horrible. What a waste of four hours or two hours or however long it was. It's it was so bad. bad. It was so bad. What a bummer because the other Wonder Woman was so good. Like the one they came up with for it. I what, the first it. one? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it. You I thought the like acting it? was so... I never saw the first one, but this oh. 84 was horrible. No, 84 was really bad, but the first one was good. With like Gal Gadot, right? Gal Gadot is actually. Mm-hmm. Because she was... Was she in both of them? Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, and the Cheetah Lady? In the first one. The Cheetah... Is that her name? The, the villain in this one? I can't remember. It was Kristen like, Stewart or... Like it just was too much CGI in yeah, it. Yeah, it was too much. The story was pretty weak too, I think. Which is sad because I was kind of Wonder Woman. I do like the little nods at the end of the original Wonder Woman. The what? Um, she was the, uh... What was she at the end of the movie? She just winks in it. The original Wonder Woman. Linda oh. Carter, is that her name? Who is from Arizona? Mm -hmm. Linda Carter, the OG Wonder Linda Woman. Carter. I think she's like from Phoenix. So many great women have come out of Arizona. Obviously. Linda Carter. Um, who was the Supreme Court judge? Not Susan B. Anthony. Sandra Day O'Connor. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Actually, I did know that, but I never really thought about that. Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't she for like women's rights for yes. voting or something? Yeah. <laughs> when I think of like. Maybe the <laughs> when I think of like women's rights for voting back in the day, I just remember like Mary Poppins' mom. Oh yeah, yes! And they're like marching for women's suffrage and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, she was the OG, so look at that, Mary Poppins so, changing. Like my kids watch that movie, so now as an adult, like I'll watch it or listen to the soundtrack, and I'm like, man, this is like way deeper than... It was about women's rights yeah. and what else? Chimneys? Chimneys. Super Calipers Did you ever see the second one? Uh -huh. Neither did I. Yeah, I'm not really interested. Especially when like they re uh, replaced the uh, main character. Yeah, Julie Andrews was like iconic. Yeah, you can't do it. But I also else. feel like they waited way too long to make a sequel. Like yeah. 60 years or yeah. however long they waited. What's the point? You know, um, whatever sequel, I felt like one of the the Lion King sequel. The remake? Yes. That idea. With like live, live, live yeah. action? Yeah. And the voices too. I didn't see it because I was like, I can't. I really want to see the little mermaid live action. <laughs> They've been filming already. I really love that one. In Sardina, Italy. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know most of our movies are not even shot here? Because there's like too many laws, right? Unions yeah. and high tax. Yeah. And... yeah, so they can do it much cheaper if they fly everybody halfway across the globe, right? That's the whole thing. Um, England. It's like a good place to do it. And in Australia too. I think mm -hmm. Australia has like really good studios. Yeah, and like, um, like New Zealand and too. Stuff, right? mm -hmm. but, You've never been? No? no. I have. Uh, the first time I went to Australia, no, not the first, the second time, I um, I told Melanie, who was my distributor there, I was like, I really want to go to WB Movie World because they shot the Scooby Doo movie there. Oh. And uh, she took me, yeah, it was really cool. And it's like a working movie studio too. We were there, they were filming. Cool yeah, well, you can't really see that much though, but I was like, oh my god, how cool. But they wouldn't really let us do that much. Like, outside of the theme park area where yeah. the movies are being shot, yeah. they won't let you, like, it's a close set. No. But they told us that they were shooting Dora the Explorer when we were there. Oh, that's cool. Did you go to the Great Barrier Reef? No, but I saw it from, uh, from uh, the uh, condo we were staying at. Oh, okay. And Gold, oh, Gold like Coast is beautiful. House, right? That's in Sydney. Is to be like really cool. It is, but it's also just like a giant. Yeah. And there's nothing inside or anything like that. It's like oh, you see it. No, it's like a oh. like a theater and a convention center. Kind of. Uh, kind of a letdown. Yeah, there's lots of restaurants right there too. And there's a nice view of the um the Sydney Bridge, what's they call the coat hanger. Did you touch any I did. <laughs> you did. I mean, you touch any no. Right? Huh? Right? I think that's a thing. Yeah, you it's can. True. But okay. a kangaroo is basically like a giant rat. Yeah, oh. So I was like, yeah, yeah. let's go to put a couple. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's like a giant rat. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I don't They call it roadkill. And then koalas are like super cute, but they're nasty, right? Like they're mean. They can have a. Um,
Oh my god. And they're always stoned. They're always feeling groovy. Because of the eucalyptus thing. So they have this thing called drop bears, and um, if it's really windy, they can fall on top of you. What? Yeah, it's really bad. They're all stoned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And also in Perth, they have a thing called draw, um, no, the magpies. Magpies that kill people. Magpies are birds, right? Mm -hmm. and black birds. So they have these massive magpies. And people, when they're like riding bicycles, they have to wear like special kinds of helmets. No. Or like you have to be really careful when you're walking outside because they will attack you. The magpies. And terrifying. Australia's like has like tons of stuff that's it's really like deadly. That the birds, but it's real in Australia. Oh, oh yeah, the movie Arachnophobia. <laughs> I can just imagine you in the attic and then you're like crying and there's like a giant spider. Oh the spider queen. And then the giant like black beetles that we have right now that if you kill them they smell really bad. I have no idea. They're disgusting. Arizona is not nice in monsoon season you guys. Ooh, do you have coyotes? Yeah, we do. Like, we see them. So I was driving down Kevin the highway. It's like a pretty major river road. Mm -hmm. Coyotes just crossing the street. All chill. Yeah, like, it's a drive along. And you're like, hi, goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. And we have Catalina. They'll come and they wake us up in the whole night because they knock over our garbage cans. Mm -hmm. and, and they're loud, right? Yeah. Start barking, and Andrew has to like chase him away. Like, God, yeah. I can just imagine Andrew in the middle of the yeah, night all mad. <laughs> Machine, Machine Gun, Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly, that's right. He's so intimidating. He looks at them and they run. They're like, boom. I'm just kidding. They don't. Like, the other day they wouldn't leave. It's like shining flashlights at them, making noise, and they were just kind of looking back. You need like, like a sparkler or something. No. A taser. But there were babies. Too. Aww. No, I wanted to you should have been like bacon. Javelina bacon. Can you eat javelinas? Yeah, I have a friend who made javelina jerky. I think, really? Ago. Yeah. It's related to pork, right? Yeah, I think. I mean, I don't know. I think so, no? Maybe it's just like pork, but more gamey. Yeah, I don't know. I heard that it's like very tough. Yeah. yeah. What about deer? Uh, venison. Venison is just really tender. I don't have it because I had, you know what? Really? Like venison stew at like midnight, and it was like the best thing I've ever had. I think I ordered it, like a second order of it. it wow, well, you're like, can I have some more, yeah, please? Yeah. Some borscht. Did your mom get down with some borscht? Not really. No. It's like Russian, right? Yes, but yeah. since they were technically part of yeah. the union, mm -hmm. the communes. Speaking of which. Seeing on like YouTube news on my headliners, mm -hmm. like the election in Germany, and I was like, uh, oh, with all no the... idea what's going on in Germany. Yeah. But right, I just thought it's like the socialist party. Yeah, it was, I like in the comments though. So it, it was like either socialist, socialist, or communist. Which one are the Germans gonna pick? <laughs> oh, was that like their two options? <laughs> three. Because well, I guess there are three parties. Socialist, communist, and another socialist. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure because I don't know that much about German yeah, politics. I don't either. That's interesting. I uh, just one of the big five they call Germany. Mm -hmm. The big top five European economies. Germany, England, UK, mm -hmm. Italy, France, mm -hmm. and Spain. Is Spain the other one? Yes, but I don't know about Spain anymore. They are going through the bigs. Neither have I. Oh yeah, especially at night they're supposed to have really good nightlife. I got hungry. Uh, in Budapest? Is it pretty? Yeah, that's and they're all like next to each other too, those countries. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're shooting the new Monsters movie in Budapest. Oh, really? Yes. Out of all places. Yeah, the Falcons and the Fish are like right next to each other. And those were like. <clears throat> oh, I heard Prague looks like a. Like, 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 like a fairy tale, right? Mm -hmm. So when I was a kid and I would go visit my godmother in uh, Mexico. Every year around Christmas time, they play like this like old Czechoslovakian Soviet era Cinderella movie, oh. and I just remember like um, that's in that's in Prague, mm -hmm. the, in Prague. Mm -hmm. oh. and I just remember like all these like really pretty like castles next yeah. to like rivers, and I was like, man, I really want to go and see that. Yeah. 
Austria is really beautiful too. Switzerland. Whoa. So, like back in the day when I went on this like trip, right, went to all these places, we went to um, the Swarovski Crystal Factory, mm -hmm. which is like, it's in, it's in a hill. So it's like built, there's this beautiful green hill, and this like factory and museum is built into it. So then you have like these two huge eyes that are crystals. Wow. Right? Coming out of like what would be the mouth, and you kind of walk behind the waterfall to get to the entrance. Wow. I never went to the loop though. Oh, I did. It's we, so big. We thought about it too, but we were like, eh, what are we going to do? It's beautiful though to see like some of the, like the David. It's probably not even the real ones. The probably real ones are like in the back or something. Yeah, I They're probably wonder about that. Too dangerous. I remember Julie and I were like, should we go? And she was like, eh. Whatever. We were like, let's go to Disneyland. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then we went So which Disneyland slash Disney World or whatever? Like, which park is the best? Because you've been to them all, right? Yes, correct. Yes. Which one is the best? I think they're all have their own unique features, mm -hmm. but aesthetic wise, Euro Disney, you can't believe it. so good, right? So beautiful. I mean, yeah. can you imagine building a theme park out of the French countryside on a hill? Oh, Stunning. Too bad it bombed. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really just. There's one in Japan, right? Yeah, that one's really like overrated. That, one? oh. that one's not owned by Disney, it's licensed. Mm -hmm. So it's um, catered very much towards oh. them. And it's strange. So do you like Disney World or Disneyland? Mm, I think they're both different. Mm -hmm. But I kind of have to go with Disney World. Yeah. Just because I feel like I've gone more, so I know it better. Well, and they have like Epcot Center there, which is kind of boring. No, Epcot Center is the place you don't... You don't want to go? No, it's so oh, boring. I only went when I was like a kid, so I don't remember. I just thought like they had the, the people of the world thing or whatever. I thought that was like kind of cool. You go to Epcot, but so like everyone says to eat and drink because they have alcohol. Oh yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> and Alca Epcot is massive, but it just feels like an 80s mall. Like, is they're it? putting a lot of money into it right now. Oh, let's make it better. Because there really is no right there. So what's better about it's bigger, like land-wise. Mm -hmm. California Adventure is really small. There's only a few though. And Disney World has a lot of rides, but they're all spread out. Like that's why they want you to stay there for so long, because they're all at different theme parks. So every gate you have to pay to enter. At Disney World. Yes. So at Disneyland there's more rides, but it's also like smaller, so it's like, it feels kind of cramped versus Disney World is like so spread out. <laughs> With the kids, or like the San Diego Zoo is also really good for kids. Yeah. Sea World. We're staying in the park. Really? Yeah. That'll be nice though. Like You're gonna be living the fantasy. You're gonna be like, this is my dream. With my short nails, I don't get in my way. It'll be perfect. That will not get any animal manure. <laughs> That's right. You're gonna be living your best life with all those animals. I can just see with like some giant overalls, like rubber boots. You're like, yes. You're like, let me clean out the barn. So do you like Knott's Berry Farm then? Because they have kind yeah. of like that. Yeah, I totally. I've only been once like, when I was a kid, but I love Knott's Berry Farm. Me too. Only when I was a kid, like years ago. Yeah, it was super fun. Oh, you have to see that. Oh, sorry. Were we out of frame? Sorry, sorry, everyone. The San Diego Zoo, um, Sea World. I haven't been to Sea World around the same age. Yeah, yeah, Sea World is. And I just remember Sea World not having any rides. I think that's a bit disappointing. Really? Yeah, you're like, like, oh my god, I can die now. Yeah. And I remember at Sea World, like my mom was like, don't go by like.
can't move with the water. Because it splashes you, right? And she's like, all it is is just pee. Yeah. Oh, no. I never even thought about that. She's like, it's mostly just pee, so don't go by. I was like, but I want to go touch Shamu. And she's yeah. like, no. Well, you didn't get to, you didn't get to touch Shamu, right? No. Yeah. Remember that movie? What was that movie? Free out? Willy. No, not Free Willy, though. Like, the documentary about Oh. Oh. Like, yes, I heard about it. I never saw it, though. Yeah. Black cat or black. But they do call them killer wolves for a reason because they kill people yeah. or other animals. Yeah. Shamu. How many Shamus have, have been around now? And Keiko was a mom. I don't know. Oh, and then you got to touch like um, stingrays and stuff. Oh, I didn't do that. That always, even now, that would gross me out. Oh, I love it. I was a little bit nervous about it. We went to the, um, I took my daughter. Good. Really? Yeah. They have like a lot of touch things, you know, so you can like be hands on, which I feel kind of bad for the animals, but... They're there for a reason. That's, yeah, that's like the draw of going. Like when I went to Thailand and I took a picture with a tiger, I got so much flack for that. Oh my gosh. I was like, I was at a zoo. Yeah. They're always gonna... And you can't make everybody happy. Nope. And the lady that does my massage, she was telling me about, um, she went to a snake ranch. Mm -hmm. A snake ranch? Mm -hmm. And there was like cobras and things like that there. I was like, man, I would have wanted it to make purses out of them. <laughs> she told me that her friend in northern Thailand has a alligator farm and they uh, farm the alligator for its skin and then send it to Europe to get processed. Really? Because they got some giant alligators in Thailand, let me tell you. Like massive. But it would make a nice belt though. Yeah. Like, her boots. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'll just get it when but it's I done. Yeah, okay, I don't really give up it. But everything is leather. How do you give it up? Even in the Bible. Well, you know what I was thinking about? What if, if you have like a car and you want leather seats, which like you want soft seats, but you're vegan, what do you do? Be a hypocrite? Yeah, that's fair. Right? Because I don't think there's any like leather. Synthetic? <laughs> yeah. I think in regards to leather, I don't, I don't think uh, synthetic is up there yet. Fur wise, I think so. I think their um, synthetic fur now is, is a lot better. They're yeah. using really, really good stuff. Yeah. And it's the, soft and doesn't feel like... You don't have to keep it in the refrigerator all the time. You keep it in the refrigerator? Well, not in the refrigerator, but you're supposed but to like, keep it, yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, then it can shed. Tina's no. like, oh great, let me look at my mink coats right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mink and fox and chinchilla. No. No, it freaks me out. Why? <laughs> was it beautiful though? I hated it. Yeah, I guess so, if that's your thing. I don't mind fur. I think to eat your own. If you like yeah. it, good. If not, yeah, then yeah. I remember I was in Canada and I had a fur coat on. And a lady went up to me and she's like, you know, don't go by, don't go by past uh, Tinder Street or Hender or something like that. Because they will throw paint at you. No. I was like, oh my God, thanks for the heads up. How rude. But how nice of her to tell you. And she had fur on too. Oh, so she's like, I know the deal. Yeah. And it was cold. It was um, Vancouver in February, so it was pretty cold. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna do a nice little thin coat of Wonder Gel, just to rubberize the top surface for the stickers to adhere to. I need to do a live here on Facebook, you guys, too, to show you guys like a Tupperware party, if you will, of all the new stuff. Go ahead and pick them. What kind of new stuff have you launched? All the new items, like for the seven year anniversary. Tons of new, like. Just what? I don't really the know. rolling this one. Oh, we love that. Just squeeze it out. The drill bit cleaner. That's oh, a good one. Uh, what else? So, the Barbie lamp, which is what I'm using right now. Um, the new Fantastic File is back in stock. Um, the new Soap Up Nail Clips. Yeah, we used to take them off now. That's amazing. And we updated the pink colors here. So you soak a piece of acid, uh, cotton in yeah. um, acetone, you pop it in oh. here, and then 20 minutes later you take it off and there goes your nail. That's the smartest thing. Isn't it adorable? Yeah, it's like that. It just makes it more convenient. It's all about convenience and email control. So let's get all these 
green flora and fauna for a kind of city. So fun. It's like a good combination of like super cute, but like mm -hmm. also uh, you can see the references to like Japanese anime when I was a kid. I wish I could make it more Power Rangers, but I think that would also like <laughs> deteriorate. Not deteriorate, um, take away from yes, the fantasy. Gem and the holograms. Ooh, ooh, gem, gem is excitement. She was like the first girl superhero outside of Barbie. Oh no, I don't know. That's not that I don't remember that though. She had like magical earrings that she would press and she would transform no. I must have been into like, like a rock star. I mean, it sounds like something I would have liked. But I was like such a tomboy. I liked um, like the Transformers and like oh, the okay. Joe. No, Gem was super feminine. Like hyper. <laughs> I saw this thing about speaking of like femininity and like womanhood mm -hmm. that um, AOC had said that uh, the term woman is is not uh, inclusive enough. So now she's using um, menstruating person. No. That's... Wait, but isn't that offensive if you're if you don't menstruate? I think she was saying a woman is, is not all inclusive or something like that. So for like cis women, uh -huh. it's a menstruating person. <laughs> and then there was another one too about um, motherhood that it can't be. Yes, I heard this. Birthing person. I think that's kind of like offensive to like yeah, women. What if you adopt or can't birth, right? Well, yeah, I guess motherhood doesn't necessarily mean uh, having to have a child, yeah. but. It also is kind of like bad for women that actually do birth. Yeah. Birthing person. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? Birthing person. Menstruating person. I can't even like keep track of everything. So many so terms now. Yeah. I just go with the flow. And what was the other one that the House of Representatives does now? A man and a woman? No, is that a thing? Yeah, like at the end they say a man. Is a man referring to men, like as in? I don't think so. I guess I don't know what the <laughs> origin of that. A man and a woman now, I guess. Yeah. All the things I learned. All the things to be offended about. 
we're going to add some 24K glitter just to spice her up a little bit. And this is from the Vegan 4 Pack Liner Brushes. This is the brighter pink one. And then I feel like we're in some underground, underground club in London with this song. Yes, they made a movie about her life. That was like two of my favorite things. Jesus Christ and disco music. She's dead now. Right? Well, was it Like, she built like an empire. They built a theme park, and then she divorced. When she divorced him, she married the guy that was like also involved in it too. And he went to jail too. And she like always like played. I don't know what's going on. Start crying. But I mean. You probably know your what your husband's up to, right? I mean, a little, you would think, but I mean, who knows? Like, especially if her husband was cheating on her for a long time, I think that if you're married to somebody for a long time, you know if they're cheating on you or not. Or you kind of have, like, an intuition about it. You would think so, but, like, also, when you married for a long time, sometimes you just kind of, like, go through your own thing. Because you're together so much, too, though, too. You know what I mean? And look at you now, the modern baby bunch. But for real, she had a really interesting story. Isn't she born like super poor, like raised super poor? I think so. And they say in real life, like, she was pretty nice though, too. Yeah. Good friend. Can you repeat the so called do you know who Jan Grouch is? Uh, That's the other Christian lady on TV with the big purple hair. Uh, You've never seen her? Uh, Everybody has been looking through channels back in the day and there was nothing else. And then you're like, who is this lady with big purple hair crying on TV? Maybe if I saw her, I'd recognize like, her. Like, the mass of, like, she had three wigs on at least. Mm -hmm. No? But Dolly Parton is OG. She looks so She's cool. Amazing. She's They said when she was born, her parents were so poor they paid the doctor in cornmeal. Yeah. And she owns, she owns pretty much half of Tennessee now, too. Does she really? I believe she's freaking loaded, She has, like, shows, like, Las Vegas shows in, in Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, she does. In Tennessee. Mm-hmm. she's, like, something. But you know she's all petted out, too? No. Like, she has sleeves. Really? Oh, that's why she always has her arms covered. I need to, like, Google that. And she has her own theme park as well. Oh, I love them too! Yeah. So this is one of... Mm -hmm. And shows. This is... Oh, I love George Michael's night and stuff. Yes, and Pee Wee Harmon! <gasps> when I was a kid, I... No, oh, he's still alive. But when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Pee Wee Herman. I remember, like, my parent, no, my grandfather buying uh -huh. me Pee Wee and Herman shoes because I loved Pee Wee I mean, Herman Pee -wee so much. Herman was the jam. Who knew? And then he got caught doing something he should have mm -hmm. done in private. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But maybe he wanted to get caught. Maybe, maybe he wanted to be famous again. Poor Pee Wee Herman. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> That's why my battery doesn't last. Oh, yeah. So when for reals. Let's make that for one minute. How do you feel, Tina? Um, like a training. No, so remember, you guys, there are there are stages to yeah, it. Yeah, so she's not a daytime stripper yet. That's stage two. <laughs> she is a daytime stripper, strip waitress. club host strip. Yeah, waitress oh, okay. or the hostess. I remember we went to a strip club in Toronto. It was a really long night. <laughs> <laughs> the girl at the check-in for the coat because mm -hmm. it's. Toronto, so it's like New York, they check yeah. in your coat because it's bloody cold outside. Yeah. She's like, can I ask you a question? And I was like, sure. She's 
to record. You have to get your nose done it, she asked me. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, she was like That's super- That's like a bold like, question, right? Or she's like, do you have your nose job or something like that? She's oh. like, it's because I want one too. And I was like, oh, girl, let, let me tell, tell you. you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she was so nice. That's funny. I got kicked out of the strip club that night though. Why? Because of what I was wearing. What were you wearing? A tracksuit. Because we had to Why? take her like a really early flight, like at 5 a.m. So what's wrong with that? It was of, like a five-star strip club. Oh, set. and that was not fancy enough. Mm -hmm. Most people get kicked out of strip clubs for like doing things they shouldn't do. Exactly. And you got kicked out for your sweet tracksuit. They wouldn't even let me in. Where was it? In Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Because Toronto, believe it or not, is like world famous for strip clubs. Oh my god. Some of the best in the world, like the Brass Rail. Mm -hmm. And we went to one called. Um, for your eyes only and you oh, walk okay. in and like the girls are like in like long evening gowns mm -hmm. and the whole stage is um the toronto skyline and neon lights oh that's cool it's beautiful and we're like wow this place is really fancy and then we go to the check-in and they're like oh sorry you can't come in because you're wearing a tracksuit that's not appropriate oh that sucks you're like have you seen this tracksuit though because it's pretty sweet my friend was like do you know how much that tracksuit costs she got all hair she was like that's a gucci tracksuit they're like yeah we understand but Wow. Rules are rules. In Toronto. Here in the US, we really don't have like uh, that kind of culture anymore that people dress up to go out. No, my mom hates it because you know, she's from like Europe. So they do have that where you like have to dress up to go oh, yeah. out. Yeah, she's like, here, like, nobody dresses up. It's ridiculous. And you know what we don't have so much in the US either is, which this is kind of a good thing though, is the, um, the drastic, uh, levels of society that they had like in Europe or even in South America too. We don't yeah. have that here. Yeah. Like, especially like in the UK, like who's your dad? What your what's your last name? For real. <laughs> like what's your last name and things like that. We don't yeah. really have that here, I think. I think some parts of the states we do but Yeah, maybe like New York. Like good old Arizona. No. Like, but like in New York for sure probably yeah. with those guys that are like yeah. Like that work on Wall Street, stuff. American yeah. Psycho kind of guys. Yes. Look how pretty they came out, you guys. Gorgeous. I feel like this hand was a lot faster than the other one, too. Yes. Questions on the other one? Hold still, camera. I mean, lighting. What do you guys think of these short little fantasies? They're super adorbs, though, right? Forever. And that matte gel with the white sequence in it is sickening, you guys. And then the pinky with the eye for the Illuminati. Megan Fox. <laughs> Who's Megan Mar- Oh, Megan oh. Markle's the one that's married to uh, the prince. Look how cute they are. Adorbs. Well, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's live video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short ultra nail demo. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com. Take advantage of the promo code because you have 24 hours, less than 24 hours now to use it because it ends at midnight tonight. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Tina.